The Story of the Cross. The Story of the Cross. O beloved ones, for the sake of Allah, let's roam around in the gardens of the Quran, in our first gathering of the interpretation of Surat Maryam. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the realms, that didn't begot nor had an associate in his dominance or deity. The one only God, and there is no other creator or Lord except him. The one worthy of all kinds of worship where he destined upon us not to worship anyone except him, as he the only true one and anything else called for is false. And that he is the most high, the most great. I praise you, O Lord, and I seek your aid, forgiveness, and guidance. I cannot enumerate your praise. You are as you have praised yourself, glorified be your praise, great be your glory, and there is no God except you. I testify that there is no true God except Allah with no associate, the one that has no match, the eternally besought with no opponent, the all sufficient with no need for anything. The most strong that isn't defeated by anything in the heavens and earth, the compeller of the heavens and earth, nothing can reject his command. His destiny and command are not to be reviewed. He is the first nothing preceded him. He is the last nothing succeeds him. He is the evident nothing prevails him. He is the imminent nothing beneath him. And he is omnipotent over everything. I hereby testify that Muhammad is his servant, messenger, and the one he chose from among his creatures. Fulfilled the message, passed on the trust. Advised the nation and Allah cleared through him gloominess, and he fought in Allah's cause sincerely until the time of his death. O oh Allah reward him on our behalf the best of reward you ever bestowed on a prophet for his nation and a messenger for his effort in calling to Allah, O oh Allah bestow your prayers. Peace and blessings upon him, and upon his family, companions, lovers, followers and upon whomever followed his guidance and carried out his sunnah following his footsteps till the day of judgment. O oh beloved ones for the sake of Allah let's roam around in the gardens of the Quran, in our first gathering of the interpretation of Surat Maryam. I ask Allah, glorified and exalted be he, to let it be a blessed interpretation that will benefit us in this life and the hereafter he is the facilitator of it, and he is over everything omnipotent. This Mac and Surah covers one of the most crucial issues in this religion, the issue of creed that the Christians have distorted, changed and manipulated. Hence, insulting Allah, glorified and exalted be he, is a grave insult where one of their sects say, Jesus is God, another say, Jesus is the Son of God, and the third claim, he is third of three. Exalted be he from what the Christians claim. Let's find out more about this corrupt belief and this distorted religion whereupon you will prostrate to Allah in gratitude that you are amongst the monotheists to Allah, glorified and exalted be he. And followers of Muhammad, prayers and peace of Allah be upon him. We shall be acquainted to this creed through a brief introduction in this session and another session following if Allah, glorified and exalted be he, wills. It will be a swift and brief introduction highlighting the basics of the Christian's creed using facts not claimed from our side so we would not be accused of fanaticism and extremism. What we will say in this blessed session, and the one following it be the might of Allah and his support, glorified and exalted be he, is not in our own words or speech. Rather it will be a man who drank from their springs, wore what they wore embraced their religion and creed. However Allah, glorified and exalted be he, opened his heart to embrace the truth, whereupon he declared the oneness of Allah, glorified and exalted be he. And his belief in Muhammad the messenger of Allah, prayers and peace of Allah be upon him. The Spanish well-known priest Anselm Tormida who drank from their springs, wore what they wore, and one day he used to hold their beliefs, teaching it to children in Christianity. However, Allah, glorified and exalted be he, opened his heart to embrace the truth, whereupon he declared the oneness of Allah, glorified and exalted be he. And his belief in Muhammad the Messenger of Allah, prayers and peace of Allah be upon him, thus embracing Islam and naming himself Abdullah al turjaman Pay good attention to the disgrace narrated to us by this priest who submitted to Allah, Anselm Tormida, the previous Spanish priest who Allah have opened his heart to Islam says. And his words are directed to the Christians and Muslims. To the Christians that still hold some justice in their hearts leading to unbiased judgment, and to the Muslims that do not know anything of their religion, moreover the Christian creed, he says. Be aware, may Allah have mercy on you, that there are five foundations in the Christian creed. Know, O Muslims and fair Christians, that five foundations in the Christian creed. Baptizing, Trinity, believe in sacrifice, unity of the Son's hypostasis with the womb of Mary, and confessing all sins to the priest. So these are the basics of the Christian creed. Now let's draw closer to know these disbelieving foundations, that of a corrupt and dangerous nature. The first foundation is baptizing. They believe that the, and quote from Luke's distorted Bible, Jesus, peace be upon him, said, 
Whoever is baptized will enter paradise, and whoever isn't baptized will dwell in hellfire for eternity. Exalted be Allah from what these prejudiced people claim. It is one of the biggest fabrications attributed to Allah. Glorified and exalted be he. And to Jesus' prayers and peace be upon him and Prophet Muhammad. What is the description of baptizing O Muslim folks? This is a description of baptizing so we could identify their forgery with religion, fraudulent practices and lies. Every church has its own basin made of marble in the middle of the church. This basin is filled with water and surrounded with many cups from every side. Huge amounts of salt is immersed in this water and some kind of oil named Dun al Bilson, elderberry oil, these two preserve water from putridity and changing. Thus, the priest deceives the Christians and says to them that this water didn't change and still pure, moreover its smell and taste didn't change, all of this is from the blessing the Lord Jesus. Rather it didn't change for the large quantity of salt and elderberry oil immersed in. And upon this big basin of water preserved with salt and elderberry oil stands a priest receiving a person who wants to enter Christianity where he admits him to this basin saying, Know that if you wanted to enter to Christianity you have to believe that by being baptized the person enters paradise, and whoever isn't baptized will reside in hellfire for eternity. Moreover, you have to believe that God is third of three. Jesus is his son crucified and killed, buried and resurrected after three days and rose up in the heavens to sit on right side of the Lord in the day of judgment to judge between his creatures. Then the priest asks him, Do you believe in the aforementioned? He answers, Yes. Then he asks him again, Do you believe in what Christian folks believe in? He answers, Yes. Dot. So if the christened person agrees, the priest takes him from his hand, approaching him to this marble basin filled with water, and pours some of this water on his head, saying, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Then the priest wipes of the water from his head with a towel or a handkerchief. After all that, the man would be christened, baptized, and testified for him that he is of the dwellers of paradise. As they claim according to their disbelieving creed, Highly exalted be Allah from what the falsifiers utter with their tongues. As for children, they go through this process on the eighth day of their birth. Water is poured on their heads and body in the church's basin by the hands of a priest who differentiates truth from falsehood, thereupon they would be admitted to Christianity. We seek refuge in Allah from that. This was the first foundation mentioned briefly of the Christian creed, my beloved brothers and sisters. Differentiate between truth and falsehood. How many Muslims know anything about the Christian creed? Rather, how many Muslims know the truth of their own religion and its essence only if they were among who Allah, glorified and exalted be He, mercies? The second foundation of Christianity is Trinity. Trinity implies that a Christian must believe that Allah is the third of three and that Jesus has two natures, human and divine nature. These two natures unite to be one. Jesus derives His divinity from His Father and humanity from His Mother i. human and divine at the same time. So the human is divine and the God is human according to Christians so the two natures become one. Jesus derives his divinity from his father and humanity from his mother. We seek refuge in Allah from that. Some of them say the three are God, Jesus and Mary. God is his father, Jesus is his son and Mary is the wife of God. We seek refuge in Allah from that. All Christian sects believe and say the aforementioned. Jacobins, Nestorians and Maria Mike etc. all approve that and believe that God is third of three and Jesus and Mary are his son and wife. We seek refuge in Allah from that, highly exalted be Allah from what the Christians utter with their tongues. Allah, glorified and exalted be he, attributed infidelity to them for this corrupt and wicked creed, he Almighty said. Surely disbelievers are those who, surely is affirmative. So no exaggerator or hypocrite would accuse religious people and people of knowledge who label Christians as disbelievers that they are extreme because they are prejudiced by labeling a group of people as disbelievers. Such person must acknowledge that this ruling is Allah who said, Surely, disbelievers are those who surely is affirmative. Surely, disbelievers are those who said. Allah is the third of the three in a trinity. But there is no Ayla, God, none who has the right to be worshipped, but one Ayla, God Allah. Surat al Maida 5 hours 73 minutes. The Christians who say that Allah is part of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but He is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. Will these people not retract this statement, repent to Allah and ask His forgiveness for the idolatry they committed? Allah is forgiving towards the one who repents, whatever may have been the sin, 
even if it was disbelief. Allah is compassionate to the believers. Almida 73-74 Allah, glorified and exalted be he said, and they say, The most beneficent, Allah, has begotten a son, or offspring or children, as the Jews say. Uzair, Ezra, is the son of Allah, and the Christians say that he has begotten a son, Aisa, Christ, and the pagan Arabs say that he has begotten daughters, angels, etc. 88. Indeed you have brought forth, said, a terrible evil thing. 89. Whereby the heavens are almost torn, and the earth is split asunder, and the mountains fall in ruins. 90. That they ascribe a son, or offspring, or children, to the most beneficent, Allah. 91. But it is not suitable for, the majesty of, the most beneficent, Allah, that he should beget a son, or offspring, or children. 92. There is none in the heavens and the earth but comes unto the most beneficent, Allah, as a slave. 93. Verily, he knows each one of them, and has counted them a full counting. 94. And every one of them will come to him alone on the day of resurrection, without any helper, or protector, or defender. Surat Maryam 19, 88-95 The Jews, the Christians, and some of the idolaters said, The merciful has taken a son. You who say this have indeed brought something monstrous. The heavens almost rupture because of this detested statement, the earth almost splits, and the mountains almost fall in ruins. All of this because they have attributed a son to the merciful. Allah is high above that by far. It is not befitting of the merciful to take a son as he is pure of that. There is no angel, human being or jinn in the heavens and earth but that he will come in submission to his Lord on the day of judgment. The Quran 19 88-93 Allah, glorified and exalted be he said, and they, Jews, Christians and pagans, say, Allah has begotten a son, children or offspring. Glory be to him, exalted be he above all that they associate with him. Nay, to him belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth, and all surrender with obedience and worship to him. 116. The Originator of the Heavens and the Earth When he decrees a matter he only says to it, Be and it is. Surat al-Baqarah 2 colon 116-117 the Jews, the Christians and the idolaters, who worship others alongside Allah, said that Allah had taken a son. He is far above and beyond such a thing, because he has no need of his creation, and no one has a son unless he is needy, and to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. All created beings are his servants, in submission to him, glory be to him. They are his servants, and he deals with them as he wills. Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth and all that is in them, and there is nothing in creation that is like him. If he decrees and wills something, he only says to it be an idus as he willed it. Nothing can stop his command and his decree. Al-Baqarah 116-117 And they, Jews, Christians and pagans, say, Allah has begotten a son, children or offspring. Glory be to him, exalted be he above all that they associate with him. Nay, to him belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth, and all surrender with obedience and worship to him. 116 the originator of the heavens and the earth. When he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be and it is. His command is between Alkaf, while none. Be so it is. He is not reckoned for what he does. However, they are the ones who are reckoned. When Miriam was in fear, she said, Verily, I seek refuge with the most gracious Allah from you, if you do fear Allah. Surat Miriam 1918, I if you sincerely fear Allah. The angel said, I am only a messenger from your Lord to announce to you the gift of a righteous son. 19. She said, How can I have a son, when no man has touched me, nor am I unchaste? 20. He said, So it will be, your Lord said, That is easy for me, Allah. And we wish to appoint him as a sign to mankind and a mercy from us, Allah, and it is a matter already decreed by Allah. Maryam 19, 21 So when she saw him in the form of a perfectly formed human heading towards her, she said, I seek protection of the merciful from you that any harm should come to me from you, if you are pious and fear Allah. Gabriel, peace be upon him, said, I am not a human. I am only a messenger from your Lord who he has sent to you for me to give you a good pure child. Mary said surprisingly, How can I have a child when neither a husband nor anyone else has come near me nor am I an adulteress that I should have a child? Gabriel said to her, The matter is as you said, namely that no husband or anyone else has touched you nor are you an adulteress. However, your Lord said, 
to create a child without a father is easy for me. And it is so that the child granted to you is a sign for people of the power of Allah, and a mercy for me to them, due to the good they will achieve through him. And the creation of this child of yours is a fixed decree from Allah and written in the preserved tablet. Maryam 18-21 So it has been, the command is irrevocable verily. Our word unto a thing when we intend it, is only that we say unto it. Be and it is. Surat al-Mal 1640 Allah will resurrect them all on the day of judgment to make clear to them the things they differed about such as his oneness. The resurrection and prophethood and so that the disbelievers may realize that they were false in their claim of Allah's having partners and in their denial of the resurrection. Indeed when I want to bring the dead to life and resurrect them then there will be nothing to prevent me from doing so. When we will something to happen, all that we say is, be, and it definitely becomes. Anal 39-40 They claim that Allah is third of three and he, glorified and exalted be he says, surely, disbelievers are those who said. Allah is the third of the three, in a trinity. But there is no Ayla, God, none who has the right to be worshipped, but one Ayla, God Allah. Surat al maida 5 hours 73 minutes. The Christians who say that Allah is part of the trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but he is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. Will these people not retract this statement, repent to Allah and ask his forgiveness for the idolatry they committed? Allah is forgiving towards the one who repents, whatever may have been the sin, even if it was disbelief. Allah is compassionate to the believers. Almida 73-74 he is the unique, the one, the eternal one that didn't beget nor begotten. They insulted Allah and attributed a son to him, Allah, glorified and exalted be he, says in a Qudsi hadith reported by al-Bukhari. Narrated by Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, that the messenger of Allah, prayers and peace of Allah be upon him, said. Allah the most superior said, The son of Adam slights me, and he should not slight me, and he disbelieves in me. And he ought not to do so, O son of Adam you have slighted and disbelieved your Lord. As for his slighting me, it is that he says that I have a son and I am Allah the unique and eternal I haven't begotten nor begotten, and never there was any associate to me. And his disbelief in me is his statement that I shall not recreate him as I have created him before. Authenticated by Al-Albani The one who created beings from nothing cannot he recreate these beings? Isn't it easier for me recreating than creating from non-existence? His command is between al kaf while none. Be so it is. Nothing can bar him on this earth, or in the heavens. He is the unique, the one, the eternal one that didn't beget nor begotten and never there was any associate to him. He is the unique that has no opponent, the eternal with no contender. The self-sufficient that is in no need for any, the most strong that no one on this earth or in the heavens could defeat. He is the first nothing preceded him. He is the last nothing succeeds him. He is the evident nothing prevails him. He is the imminent nothing beneath him, and he is omnipotent over everything. This was the second foundation. The third foundation in the Christian creed is the unity of the hypostasis of the Son with Mary's womb. They claim that Allah, glorified and exalted be he, we seek refuge with Allah from that, became angry with human beings so he punished Adam and his breed because he ate from the forbidden tree. However, Allah wanted to bestow his favor upon people so he sent his son Jesus where he united with Mary's womb, we seek refuge with Allah from that, then she gave birth to him where he became human then killed, then resurrected after three days from his burial and rose to the heavens and sat to the right of his father. Lastly going to hellfire to take Adam and his breed of prophets and messengers out, we seek refuge with Allah from that. This ideology is amongst the most dangerous of their beliefs, but why is that? As this ideology is what they say and believe that Jesus was crucified to expiate the sin of people. It's a dangerous Christian ideology negating the personal responsibility for acts in the religion of Allah, glorified and exalted be he claiming that Jesus wasn't crucified except to bear people's sins and expiating it, highly exalted be Allah from what the Christians utter with their tongues. What does Allah say? What does Allah, glorified and exalted be He, say negating these lies and falsehood, because this ideology is capable of spreading sins and wrongdoings? Let everyone commit what they please from the different kinds of sins and wrongdoings, and let them, who wants to embrace Christianity.
Be confident that Jesus will bear his wrongdoing and expiate his sins because he wasn't crucified except for this reason. A horrific and dangerous ideology that negates personal responsibility of acts that Allah, glorified and exalted be he, says about that in the Quran. Author Bilahi Mina Ashitani regime I seek refuge with Allah from the accursed devil. And we have fastened every man's deeds to his neck, and on the day of resurrection, we shall bring out for him a book which he will find wide open. 13. It will be said to him, Read your book. You yourself are sufficient as a reckoner against you this day. 14. Whoever goes right, then he goes right only for the benefit of his own self. And whoever goes astray, then he goes astray to his own loss. No one laden with burdens can bear another's burden. And we never punish until we have sent a messenger to give warning. Surat al-Isra 17 13-15 For every person I have made the actions that proceed from him attached to him, like how a necklace is attached to the neck. They will not leave him until he is taken to account for them. On the day of judgment, I will bring out for him a book that contains every good or bad deed that he did, which he will find spread open before him. I will say to him on that day, O man, Read your book and take an account of your soul for your deeds. You are enough to take an account of yourself on the day of judgment. Whoever is guided to faith, then the reward of his being guided is for his own good, and whoever goes astray, the punishment for his going astray is to his detriment. No soul carries the sin of another soul, nor do I I'll ever punish a people until I establish proof against them by sending messengers to them. When I decided to destroy a town because of its wrongdoing, I instructed those who became reckless because of affluence to obey Allah but they did not comply. And instead they disobeyed him and transgressed, so the word of the decimating punishment became justified against them, and I destroyed them completely. Surat al-Isra 17 13-15